Welcome to Electronic Music Australia, delivering you the finest Aussie music, ranging from indie dance to club bangers, right through to the underground, with your host, Kai Me. Hey, it's me, Kai Me, and this is Electronic Music Australia. We're doing an album listening party. The album is called Apollo Remixed and it's from Dysphemic. I'm not going to talk too much other than to say Dysphemic is amazing. He puts so much of himself into his work. He has actually provided some commentary about the tracks, about the album. So I'm going to let him do the work tonight. Enjoy this amazing album called Apollo Remixed. And there's also some tracks from the original album, which was called Apollo. Over to Dysphemic. So this project's called Apollo Remixed and it is a remix album of 11 different producers that have come together to remix my 2020 album Apollo. And so, you know, why, why do this project? Well, the Apollo album is a special album to me because firstly, it's, it's a multi-genre album. There's dubstep, there's world bass, uh, there's house, there's drum and bass, uh, there's glitch hop. I wrote the album with my big brother Yanni who plays bazooki and guitar and keys on the album. And we really mixed some very unorthodox styles of music. There's a lot of neoclassical sounds in there. There's a lot of Mediterranean and Middle Eastern influences um, that go back to our family roots of uh, Egyptian Greeks. It's a very unique combination of traditional styles and electronic music. Well, the catalyst for writing the album was I was on a Greek island called Naxos and I didn't know it, but I discovered the Temple of Apollo and it was on a cliff surrounded by beach and menacing waves and uh, cliff tops and broken rubble and the sun was setting. And through the sunset, there was a line of people in the distance climbing that cliff top to get up to these ancient ruins and just seemed very sci-fi and extremely tribal to me. And I just knew I had to write an album about what I visually witnessed at that point in time. Music for me is definitely always a visual thing and it's always a soundtrack to imagination and a story, uh, but it also represents the times in our life. You know, like any art or any story or science fiction, it's a metaphor of our own life and our own dramas and our own ups and downs. And with the album Apollo, I tried to represent that contrasting the melodic orchestral breakdowns to the hard, heavy hitting electronic bass. And where the remix album comes in, these are 11 of some of the best producers around the world. And man, did they do justice to it. Like it breathes whole new life into the album. You know, Apollo Remixed is another whole journey in itself. And yeah, myself and Yanni who wrote the album with me are just super stoked um, at what these guys did. Like they absolutely smashed it. So we're gonna hear a few of the OG 2020 tracks but you're going to hear the entirety of the remix album right here.
What up? My name's Despemic, and you're at the listening party for Apollo Remix on Electronic Music Australia. The remix of Trippy and Odenso by Case Koshin and Sugar Glider. Yo, this is an important one to kick off with because Case Koshin, Hazar, was the entire catalyst for this whole remix album. Um, it started because he wanted the stems to remix Trippy and Odenso when he sent me a work in progress of the remix. I pretty much said, man, we got to do something with it. Like, what are we going to do with this? Like, should we do a whole album of Trippy and Odenso remixes? And he pretty much said, why don't you do a remix album of Apollo? He helped curate a lot of the artists on the remix album. Have to give a big shout out to Case Coaching for making this shit happen.
The next tune is Planet Zaha's remix of Archangel. Absolutely doing the original justice. It starts out with heavy melodic trap and then towards the end completely fucks you up and sneaks into side trance. What can I say? Incredible remix. Check this shit out. One day I wrote angels in my notebook. I called my archangel. He has the ability to create incorporeal shapes as though he himself had access to this through the mystery of light. The next track is Archangel Remix by Square Eyes. This is an incredible drum bass remix of the original. And yeah, the first drop is like some of my favorite moments of the whole remix album.
Next up is Desert Hawk remixed by PH Zero. I love how this remix is flipped because the original is fast, heavy drum bass, and he slowed it down, chilled it out, um, but kept it mystical as hell. When I listen to it, it sounds like you're on an alien planet in the desert somewhere, or riding on the back of a strange creature with the wind blowing in your face. <laughs> I'm 
is Desert Hawk, this time remixed by Tribone. This is a great remix. It's super tribal, super dark. Um, total on some voodoo witch doctor shit right here. Tribone is just legendary at walking that thin line between deep and heavy, and he absolutely brings it with this remix. Beautiful work.
What the hell is going on? You're listening to Electronic Music Australia. My name's Dysphermic, and this is the listening party for Apollo Remixed. What up?
The next one is Lost Brothers Remix by Distracted. Scheme homies for life. What I love about this remix and just Distracted in general is that they keep it quirky, but they also keep it gangster. And they definitely made this remix G'd up. It's nice and stompy. I really like the second breakdown. It's quirky and dirty. It's totally my jam. is Purdy Demon, remixed by Juice and Buster Flux. Had to shout out 8Ball, the homies, were also putting it out on their record label. So the original's like a world bass kind of trap tempo tune, and these guys flipped it into drum bass, and it's a super tight remix. Uh, when I first heard it, I was like, goddamn. And I really like that they brought in uh, Yanni's main melodic theme when it kicks in. And again, definitely getting some writing on the back of an alien from outer space in a mystical desert type vibes going on here. What up?
Next up is Primate Remix by Chamberlain. Just a huge banger, massive stomper, as always, from Chamberlain. If I had to close my eyes and describe what I was hearing, I will definitely see a mystical priest monkey from another realm headbanging to this while breakdancing. I love this remix because while it incorporates some of the original themes, Chamberlain really made it his own. He made it gangster, but also tribal. the end of the remix album i just want to thank all the incredible artists involved for putting all the time and energy into it uh yanni and myself are truly humbled and honored have to give some big respect to eight ball audio out of brisbane for dropping on their record label what huge legends and also big shout out to electronic music australia for featuring the entire album on their show legends much respect go support them yes
missed an episode, don't worry. All past episodes are uploaded onto the Electronic Music Australia SoundCloud. stuff from Dysphemic. I hope you love tonight's album listening party. Apollo remixed from Dysphemic and like I said earlier there's a couple of tracks from Apollo as well. Thanks so much for tuning into Electronic Music Australia. My name is Kai Mee and I will catch you next week. You've been listening to Electronic Music Australia with Kai Mee on 105.7 Radio Metro.